All right, what's going on, guys? My name's Adept Cell, and this is NBA 2K21 Game Pass Review. So I've been playing a lot of games recently, and I thought I'd share what I find with you guys because it's kind of hard to find lower-level tier games um, that you can only get on Xbox Game Pass, pretty much, that, like, no one really plays, but it's kind of fun to pass the time and stuff. Or some people do play them a lot, actually. It depends on the game. But I thought I'd start this channel to kind of review these games for you guys so that you can get a good review on them before you buy them. So NBA 2K21 is made by 2K. 2K, of course, is probably the most prestigious sports video game company in the world. They have made games in the past such as MLB 2K21. or well, not 2K21. They went out of business. But they used to have MLB 2K. Now they have PGA 2K. And then NBA 2K they've had since before 2000. I believe Allen Iverson was on the cover of the original. In like 1999 or something. So... Some background on the game itself. There's a whole bunch of different modes that you can play. NBA 2K21 is probably the most immersive, well definitely the most immersive basketball game on the market. You might hear otherwise from other YouTubers. No, this is definitely the best basketball game on the market, although it does have its flaws. So let's get into it. Play now. Basically what's going on is these are all modes. No one really plays these unless you're kind of sitting on the couch next to your friends. Quick play, you just kind of click it and you go right into a game. WNBA, of course, you can do the exact same thing. They do have every roster for the WNBA currently. And NBA today is basically you start from a certain point in the NBA season. So like 76ers and Cavs here and all these games right now, they're going on in real time today. And they have live updated rosters as well. Play now online, basically there's three tiers of players. You can do player control or team control where you're locked as a team or as a singular player on a 5v5 match. And if you win a certain amount of games with each tier of best to worst players, like tier 1's the best players, tier 3's the worst, you rank up and you get to use more teams and more players. 2KU basically is a training mode. Blacktop, you can kind of play against your friends. You can use any player you want from any era. You can do all these different game modes. And play with friends online, basically, if you want to just play with your friends from a different Xbox. The rest of these are mainly just couch modes, with the exception of playing online. My team. This is one of the main modes of this game. I play this game a lot, but my team basically is when you make a team, you get to kind of do single player or multiplayer challenges. You can go to your auctions, you can search up any player you want in the history, pretty much, of the NBA. And see all these guys I have here. These are all guys that I have collected. <clears throat> these are all guys that I have collected and that I put on my team. You can customize your team however you want. There are position locks though. Um, just a brief review. Single player, you can do triple threat, which is basically a 3v3 mode. You can get all these different rewards if you play. And then unlimited is the main competitive mode. As you rank up, you get better and better rewards. Then these agenda challenges, if you do these XP challenges... You get enough XP, you keep ranking up, and then the very top of the leaderboard, well not the leaderboard, the very top of the XP list, you get a very good card to use in-game. My career. Alright, my career is probably the main mode. We're going to get into that right now. I'm going to load in really quick. Basically what you do, you have a player, you create him pretty much however you want. It's very, very, gives you a lot of freedom. You can customize however you want. And you basically load into what they call the 2K Beach. So I can go around here. I can join up with my friends. I can hop on the spots over here. I can get any game I want pretty much when the park is crowded. Today it's very crowded, which is nice. So you hop on a spot. You get a game. Uh, there's also in my career you can play NBA games, which is how you mainly get badges. Badges here basically are perks for your guy, so to speak. So these are a bunch of playmaking badges I have. So like, for instance, Quick First Steps allows me to accelerate faster off Triple Threat. Needle Threader helps me to like get passes past everyone, so you get the gist of it. Progression, these are the attributes I put on my guy. Uh, each build gets its own unique name. This is mine right now. I'm a 90 overall, so I keep leveling it up. It is expensive to level up your guy, so just keep that in mind when you're making one. I would suggest making one specific guy that you really like right from the get-go uh you can change your appearance you can change your you can customize all your guys there's a bunch of stores over here like over there is swag so you can buy clothes over there 
And then you got Pro Am, which is basically you create your own team court jersey and stuff. You invite your friends and you all play. 5v5 mode. And Rec as well is a 5v5 mode. Okay. Um, next, we're going to get into my league. Just a brief review. Once this loads out of it. And then we'll get into some gameplay basics. And then we will go into... Uh, some, we're going to get into some facts you guys should know. So, these are basically the modes of my league. They're pretty much all offline. Not many people really play my league online. It's basically you start a franchise mode. This is their franchise mode. So, you could start it with a bunch of uh, friends. I have one right here. That's why it says I have a notification. Like the draft lobby's open or whatever. So, if we were going to draft, I'd join that. But basically, here's a my league. You can choose to control multiple teams at once. That's why it says I have multiple teams. Like, I just led my team to the championship here. You can customize. You can trade your guys. You can't see it right now, but... All right, here we go. You can trade your guys. You can customize your game plan for your um, coaching, like, who plays most minutes during games. Then you can do draft. This is the off season now, so you can see all the different stuff you can do. Uh, Pre-draft workouts. You can draft your own guys. You can sign them. There's player options. It's very, very immersive. By far the best franchise mode in any video game. All right, now some gameplay basics. It, you can pretty much do anything you want, really. You can do anything you want, really. So, um, there's not like a glaring issue with gameplay. The gameplay issues arise on online modes. Like offline modes, like my league and stuff, they're always fine. But if you're trying to play online in my career, especially, there are a bunch of issues that will pop up so basically what I'm gonna do to move around you can just you know move the left stick hold RT to uh, sprint LT is to shuffle if you hold down LT and you move the left stick you should kind of shuffle around uh, and then if I wanted to shoot I would just hold down on X and then release and the little meter will come up I'll do that now I'm just in a scrimmage right now yes yeah, see I can do any dribble move I want pretty much and then I hold down on X and I have to release in the middle of that yellow bar and I use the right stick to control what dribble moves I do Y is to contest slash rebound and you can icon pass but that's a little advanced I'm just going through the basics see that's a green when it's green it's always gonna go in so that's pretty much the gameplay basics now really quickly before we end important facts you guys should know about this game this is NBA 2k21 current gen right so NBA 2k21 current gen everyone says it's a bad game but it's definitely much, much better than any other basketball simulation out there. Like NBA Live, I tried it. It's not good compared to this game. The uh, only complaint that most people have, that's why like 99% of people say it's a bad game, is because the gameplay issues, especially in next gen, do not get next gen NBA 2K. Always, always play current gen. NBA 2K21 next gen is broken. I think they just honestly abandoned it. I think they messed it up so badly. So many glitches and bugs. That they just kind of got rid of it. So there's a lot of. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Oh my career. You have to make sure you make a good build from the get go. You can't make a build. For every like week that you want to play. Like it's not going to work like that. Unless you have unlimited VC. Which is in game currency. Which you have to pry buy. Which is actually really overpriced. You're not going to be able to do that. So what you could do. Just make anybody you want. This is basically the system. You pick a pie chart, and then you kind of customize them from there. You can customize your height, weight, wingspan, stuff like that. And then, lastly, from my personal experience, there's really a select few people, of, a select few group of people that really love sports games. Really, you either love them or hate them. So don't, if you're going to buy this off Game Pass, don't really expect to play with a lot of your friends that you know are not into sports games. If they're going to get a sports game, it'll probably be 2K. But the friends that you have that do get this game will most likely love it. Because if they're super into basketball especially, it's going to be fun. And uh, yeah, my team is definitely more of a solo game than my career. My career is meant to be played with friends. My, my team is more solo based unless you want to verse your friend's team. But it's more mainly based on a solo experience. So yeah, that's my 21. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And see ya.